So let us now demo the reverse DSC script. So on the right here, we can see that under CTEMP, I have my two DSC uh, PowerShell script. The first one, the reverse DSC.util, is a generic script that's um, used in every reverse DSC script. And the second one, the SharePoint DSC, the reverse, is specific to SharePoint. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna run the SharePoint DSC reverse. Calling this will prompt me to enter the credentials for my farm account. Then what's going to happen is that we're going to see the script call into the DSC resource of into every DSC resource within my SharePoint DSC module. Once that is completed, it's going to ask me where I want to save the resulting script. I'm going to go in and simply specify ctemp. Now we should see the SP Farm DSC script. So this is the resulting con DSC configuration script. In there, we have some comments information about the OS. So I was using a 2012 R2 data center. I'm using SQL Server 2016. I can see all the language packs, all the updates that have been installed. And in here, I've got my DSC configuration. So I can see stuff like the default app pools that uh, have been removed. I can see all the information regarding the, the farm, all my web applications, and so on. So this is my resulting DSC script. Now what I can do is I can go in and simply call into that script. Um, if I go in my PowerShell window, simply call into my spfarm.dsc. The one thing it's going to prompt me for is the passphrase. So that should take a few seconds. It's going to ask me for my passphrase. I'm going to put it in. And it's done. It generated both the MUF and the meta MUF files. I can go take a look now in my CTAM folder, open that one with Notepad, and just make sure that the MUF file was generated properly. So we can see stuff like the app pools that have been removed, should be, be able to see my web applications, and so on. So I can now take that MUF file that was generated that represents the current state of my SharePoint 2016 server and replicate that on either another on-premises VM or I can push that to Azure Automation and that will ensure that I have an exact copy of my current 2016 environment with all the same configuration settings. How cool is that?